What's going on guys and welcome to the farm shop. Hey, you know today I was kind of tootling around in the shop and I'm no Harbor Freight fan but I started to notice that I have a lot of Harbor Freight tools. So I thought I would make a list of some of the good things to get at Harbor Freight. Stuff that you'll probably use on your own ranch. So let me show you what I like. First thing I want to talk about are these magnetic angle finders. These aren't the kind of thing that you're probably going to be using every single day, but when you do need them, they're sure nice to have. The quality of these is probably on par with angle finders that you find at other stores. The biggest difference is these are half the price of those. So the next thing on the list are these burger welding magnets which are not the same as those red welding magnets that most people have probably used before that, you know, they're not really strong enough to hold your work together, yet they're strong enough to collect every piece of metal dust in your shop. No, these actually have some power. They claim 90 pounds of pull force, which I think is probably a little bit high, but still they are a lot stronger than any other magnet that I've ever used. Um, this 2x4 quarter wall piece of square tube is probably, I don't know, 10-15 pounds. It'll lift it up no problem. Flip the switch off, and this thing is not trying to stick to anything, which is great because when you go to clean it, none of that dust is going to stick to it anymore. Bremen, or Bremen? I'm not really sure how you say it. I call them Bremen. Anyway, this is a new brand, or relatively new at Harbor Freight, and it is all kind of different locking pliers. Um, these things are really nice, actually, on, on par with like Irwin vice grips. Um, right here on the table, I've got a vice grip brand on the right and a Bremen on the left. You can barely even tell the difference between the two. Another new brand at Harbor Freight are these Hercules drill bits. For about 20 bucks, you get a relatively complete set of bits, tie coated. But the nice thing about these is not only that they're sharp and they drill well through metal and of course wood, but you get duplicate sizes. See two quarter inch, two eighth inch, two sixteenth inch bits. Um, that's really nice on the common sizes that you're using a lot and you're either just wearing them out or breaking them. It's nice to have that extra bit right there in the box. Maybe one of the best things that you can buy at Harbor Freight are these US General Toolboxes. So when I first heard people say that the US General Toolboxes were actually built better and higher quality than like a Craftsman box or a Husky box, I wasn't buying it. But actually after having gotten one and seeing it and using it, they actually are built pretty well. The Pittsburgh C clamp. <laughs> uh, what can I really say about these? I mean, they're clamps, you know, they, they work like clamps should and they're a fraction of the cost of what clamps cost at other places. I cannot have too many clamps in my shop. So every time I'm at Arbor Freight, I'll pick up some of these. Next thing on the list is the orange cement mixer. I don't mix cement all the time, but when I do, I definitely pull this thing out. I was a little unsure when I first bought it how long it would last, but after countless bags of concrete and who knows how many yards, this thing is still running as good as the day I bought it, although it's not looking that great anymore. The next thing on the list is the Central Pneumatic Purple Paint Gun. That is a mouthful, but this paint gun is a lot better than just trying to rattle can things like I used to. And let me just be honest with you, I hate painting stuff, but you know, you, you reach a point where you kind of have to. And I've actually gotten really good results with this gun, especially for someone that really doesn't know what they're doing. You can catch these on sale for somewhere in the neighborhood of, I want to say like eight bucks. 
and they really take the fit and finish of your project to the next level. So what's cool about the big drill bit set here is not so much that there's something special about it, it's just more the price. For instance, this one inch bit here at a normal store probably costs as much as this whole set costs at Harbor Bay. So you get from 9 sixteenths all the way up to one inch. That's pretty cool. This whole set costs about, I wanna say 35 or $40. And like I said, normally if you're buying just a single one inch bit, you're gonna be spending that much anyway. So we got the tubing roller. Now, I'll be the first to tell you that not everybody is gonna need or have any use for a tubing roller, but I do. And as you can kind of see, I've modified this quite a bit. There's not much left of actually the original unit itself, but um, I will probably get a lot more into this in another video because I've got swag off-road rollers to roll the tubing and I've added these wings and I added the bottle jack on the top. I've done a lot of stuff to it to make it where it's a little bit more easy to use. But uh, what this is used for is for rolling long radiuses in tubing. Um, like you saw in my crowd tub, the way that fence line just has like a perfect bend in it. I did all that using this. Can you guys hear those pigs? You notice that it seems like every video I make, my animals are in the background. It's like they don't want me to film. Now they're quiet, of course. <laughs> I've got some, I don't know if I would call them big plans, but I've got some plans for this thing in the future. Um, we're gonna make a curved alleyway for loading cattle into the trailer, which should be pretty cool. So anyway, I'll say it again. This isn't for everybody, but for someone that needs to make stuff like that, you really can't go wrong. So this might kind of seem like, uh, I don't know, a random thing to add to the list, but these Pittsburgh dead blow hammers are pretty awesome. Um, if you don't know what a dead blow hammer is, it's a rubber kind of, I don't know if it's rubber or plastic, honestly. It's kind of a mix between the two. Anyway, the head is filled with like BBs, I think. Like if you can hear that shaking in there. But anyway, so what you would use this for is if you need to hit something that's kind of delicate or like, like the end of a bolt and you don't want to screw the threads up, something like that. You can just beat the snot out of it with this thing and you won't hurt it. And these BBs, that's why they call it a dead blow. I don't really know how else to explain it. But yeah, check these out. They're pretty cheap and they're built really well. I have beat the crap out of this one and haven't been able to break it yet. All right, guys, so that about does it for my favorite tools. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.